Starting with question one, we can see that this is some type of uh, sequence and they say determine the general term of the above sequence. Now when I first looked at this, I thought it would probably be arithmetic, but the difference is not constant because you're plusing 9 over there, then you're plusing 17. So there's not a constant difference and it's also not a geometric. But then grade 12s, you need to remember that in grade 11, there was also the quadratic number pattern. So this is a quadratic number pattern because what we can see happening is that we are adding 9 over here, then we're adding 17, then we're adding 25. And so if we look at the second difference, it's 8 and 8. So when your second difference is constant, then we can say that this is a quadratic uh, number pattern. So we should know that the general formula for a quadratic is Tn equals to An squared plus Bn plus C. Now there are different ways of doing this, but the method that I like to use is I always look at these three numbers here and I say that 2a is equal to this one, 3a plus b is equal to this one, and then a plus b plus c is equal to this one. That is a mathematical property that we can always use. So you start at the bottom. So if we can say that uh, 2a is equal to 8, then it means therefore a will be equal to 4. Now we can go up one level, so we can say 3a plus b equals to 9, but now we have a, so we can say 3 times 4 plus b is equal to 9, and so that's going to be 12 plus b equals to 9, and so b is equal to negative 3. Then we go up to the last level, so we can now say that a plus b plus c is equal to minus 5, and so a would be equal to 4, plus 9, oh no, what did we say b was, guys, minus 3, hey, yep, there we said minus 3, and then we can say plus c, and that's equal to negative 5. So then we can say 1 plus c equals to negative 5, and if we solve, c is negative 6. So we can now say that tn is equal to a, which is 4, and then b was negative 3, and then C was negative 6. Now, if you are in a test situation, you need to quickly make sure that you've done everything correct. So what I would advise you do is you try test one of these numbers. So I'm going to look at the last one. That is term number 4. So I'm going to go work out term number 4 by plugging in a 4 in the place of N. And if you do that, you get a value of 46. Now I can be a little bit more confident that I've done the correct, I've got the correct answer. Because sometimes you make a small little mistake and by quickly checking yourself, you can quickly see where you might have gone wrong. So question 1.1 is complete. This was the answer that we got. Now for question 1.2, they're saying determine the value of term 15. So that's a nice easy one. Term 15 is equal to 4 times in brackets 15 minus 3 times 15 minus 6 on the calculator and that's going to be 849. Then for question 1.3, which term has a value of this? So now they're saying which term is equal to 364? So you're going to say 364 equals to 4n squared minus 3n minus 6. Uh, we then get a trinomial if we take everything to the one side and so 4n squared minus 3n minus 370. Now, I would definitely use the quadratic number pattern, um, the quadratic number, I mean the quadratic formula. And so if you had to go use that, you would see that x is equal to negative, and then b is minus 3 plus minus, uh, minus 3 squared minus 4, a is 4, c is minus 370. I hope you guys can still see that. You might not be seeing that, but uh, you guys know how to use this formula, and then 2 times 4. Then I would go type all of that, put it on the calculator, and so we get n is 10, or n equals to negative 9.25, but that is a no solution, because n is n cannot be negative, because n is the position, so you say therefore n equals to 10. That is the final answer.